Hi, uh, Darren Hughes from the Electoral Reform Society. Uh, I'm in Wales at the moment in Cardiff, down at Cardiff Bay with the Senate uh, behind me here. And Wales is going to be a really important part of the election as well. There are 40 seats in the House of Commons in Wales, and some of them are really important battleground uh, seats where the Conservative Party are hoping to uh, build a majority through Wales, and obviously Labour trying to defend those seats uh, as well. Another big factor here too is this once again tactical voting. First past the post, this outdated useless voting system we use, forcing voters into doing uh, things they don't want to do. Voting for the party they don't like least or want to stop someone else. And all these games that get played. Uh, we've done a poll for Wales voters which shows that 29% of people are planning to vote tactically. In other words, not following their first preference because the voting system uh, doesn't let them do it. There's also the factor here of the Remain Alliance, where parties that uh, are in favour of remaining in the European Union have stood down in favour of one another in certain seats. That just denies voters the choice of the party that they might want to otherwise go for. It probably explains why 29% of people are wanting to vote tactically. So a lot to play in Wales and, and a, lot of, a lot of seats that are going to be worth watching. Well, I'm here with uh, Jess Blair, the Director of the Electoral Reform Society in uh, Wales, ERS Cymru. Uh, uh, Jess, uh, how does Welsh politics differ from what we see at Westminster? So obviously, 20 years on from devolution, Welsh politics has really developed um, quite a unique set of circumstances. Uh, we've got um, a very different uh, set of rules at play here. We've got a different voting system, and that's um, led to a very different makeup in our Senate. Uh, so it's quite common here to have coalition or kind of deals between parties to prop up government. At the moment in government, we've actually got one independent member and one Lib Dem joining the Labour Party. Um, I also think it's uh, given Wales opportunity to do things slightly differently. So just yesterday, legislation passed to uh, bring votes to 16 to Wales for the next Senate um, elections. And there's also the government legislation going through right now on votes to 16 and also changing the voting system for some local elections. So the people we spoke to today say there are about half a dozen seats in Wales to watch on election night. Five of them are in the northeast of Wales, starting with Wrexham, uh, a seat that should declare early on the night, one to watch. Will it stay with Labour or will it go to the Conservatives? And then a seat in the south of Wales, the Vale of Glamorgan, to see what happens uh, in that constituency. So half a dozen seats, they're the ones that you should be uh, looking out to see what, uh, what, what happens on the night. Uh, but I think when we've been talking to people, it's so obvious across the UK uh, there's different politics, different political culture, more parties, and yet first past the post, our broken voting system really only copes with an old politics where there were two parties, and it's just life's just not like that now. So let's do something positive about it and go for proportional representation. Uh, search for the Electoral Reform Society online and join our campaign.